Hey yo, how y'all doing? We're back, We're back, baby. Yeah, we are back. Get the chat over here. What are y'all saying? I do not know. Wait, okay, my fella, you're alive right now? Yeah, we're playing dive. At least what XD? little there is. XD indeed. So well, in this session I guess we're going to have some some additional kitchen noise featured in the stream because XD. I'm not even in a proper room right now. Hello. Hello everybody. But hey, Welcome. you know, uh, at least I am back. And you know what else is back? Oh, my God. The soundboard is returned. We are 100% back, baby. It feels so good yo, to be this, back. Yo, oh. this fella showed me a picture of the actual soundboard. This man got the equipment, bro. Oh, yeah. Dude, too uh, much of a high level. Okay, so I had a regular stream deck before I moved. So after I moved recently, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to upgrade to the XL so I can do all the sound bites, sound bites I want. You know. <laughs> Freaking lit, bruh. Freaking lit. Bruh, Shadowrock, remember me when you get to the top, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, speaking nice. of, um, if you guys haven't seen on Twitter, Discord, or the community tab on YouTube, Capcom sent me a merchandising kit today. It's kind of lit, actually. They sent me a gigantic oh, mouse yeah. pad, among other things. It's really nice, actually. Barely fits my desk, but it's very nice. So yeah, we got the <laughs> official Capcom gear going on, too. Thank you, Capcom. Yeah, that. That, you're a certified Capcom creator, my guy. Yeah. After all. Crazy. Uh, and uh, another update is, um, like you see all this, right? I didn't do that. I did not do that at all. Uh, basically to explain it, me and mobile games, we don't go along too well together. Like mobile games require you to have an amazing commitment to playing every single day, uh, sometimes every hour of the day, just to keep up. You get all your currency, and all your stuff, equipment, whatever. And I'm like, boy, I have ADHD. I got the memory, I, I got the span, the attention span of a goldfish. Like, I can't commit to one game every single day. I'm going to get tired of it so fast. And that is, that is what happened to me at Dive. So, uh, Dark Hunter... Much like he's already been doing a specs account, he has graciously offered to uh, help me manage my account. Make sure all the dailies get done, make sure I get as many medals as possible. Because some of you guys that have been watching this for a long time know that I've been slacking. Like, my cards were very unorganized. They might still be unorganized. I don't know for sure. But, um, no, actually Quint cleaned it up. Too. Yeah, Quint actually helped me out, too. He got me the GA rank. So th thank you, Quint, for that. Didn't have to do it. I mean... Of course, we're back to A now because it's a new season. But he did get me the GA I mean, last season. But, I mean, all that all that slacking, though... I mean, we can't say that it was for nothing, though, bro. Yeah, like, you have, like, everything going on, like, for you in real life. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah, I mean, deal with a move, getting used to new yeah. state and everything. It's like, yeah, I got a lot on my plate, but I mean, more than that, it's just like my attention span for this game is slacking as well because it's honestly not the most interesting to me anymore. Like, there's a cool character every now and then, but that's about it. I mean, you you tell me. Like yeah. I can play that game for more than one week without, without, without uninstalling again. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, I mean, we gotta thank people like Quint and Dark Hunter 
like these people <laughs> like we do not deserve them <laughs> yeah those two deserve a reward or something that's right <laughs> yeah um but anyway content for this week it's basically this uh we have a capsule for a raw moon looking gatling gun called the evil eye evil so uh we'll go ahead and give this one one little spin here see if we get it if we don't well i'm not too bothered by it all right so here we go guarantee s rank here we go Oh snap, we got two. Alright, hold on folks. Let's see what we got. Weapon again. Alright. Destructive laser. Uh, that's unfortunate. And yep, they're all dupes. Oh well. Oh. I actually just unlocked this weapon through memories. That's funny. <laughs> well. I got patches, I guess. And then, of course, you get <laughs> another... You get another guarantee at the third and fifth. Ten poles. I don't know if I'm that committed to it, though. So I'll probably pass. And then... Uh, we had Total Power Battle last week. Of course, Dark Hunter, the Saint, uh, got me to... The 105th ranking for me. Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, apparently there was... Like, I can't show anymore because it ended, but... There was a gray color scheme that has Stink Million. For the Expedition Battle. Yep. This guy. Uh, the prizes aren't amazing. Oh, they're... They're there for sure. So that happened, and then we have... Back to the lab again. Whoa, oh, back to the lab again. We messed up. Guys, uh, actually, we didn't mess up. This Dark Hunter came through once again. <laughs> Got me to 15th place. What the heck? That's so fast. Uh, but yeah. I was gonna do it myself, but then I had to take uh, our little cat Peanut to the vet today, so I. And it happened right at the reset for today, so... Yeah, uh, thank you Dark Hunter once again. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the codes for you guys as always. Uh, once again, thanks to Dark Hunter for sharing them. He's really carrying things right now, in case you couldn't tell. Alright. See if we can uh, do this. There we go. All right. So as before, from left to right, we have red, green, blue, and yellow, right? Okay. So we have Dynamo, Icicle Thing, Sub Tank, Elemental Metal, or Elemental Metal Supply Box, Doctor Light Card, and Shadow Blade Buster Memories. So we're gonna start with Dynamo. Uh, the cheapest one is one red, two greens. Hold up the sun. I oh. think you already done it. Oh. oh, oh, oh my God! Well, uh, thank you, well, you El Mal. Well, you did get the rank, though. We we did we did actually. Um, El Mal the hundred. Jesus Christ! It says program advance content rush. I know we are sad about heroes stopping streams to focus on RL, but we have an amazing content man here. Say with me, everyone. <laughs> Skippy butter butter boom powerful I don't have those sound clips. Uh, thank you LML. Uh but yeah he did mention hero. Uh basically he's gotta focus on RL stuff now. So at least for the time being, I don't know if he'll be coming back anytime soon. Probably not, because he just got so much on his plate now. But uh he's gonna be stopping streams like from, from his side for a while. So he can focus on those things. But uh, yeah, it's, we're gonna miss him, but I mean, I'll be here to carry the torch however I can, especially now that I got my main setup back. It's gonna make it way easier to do that. 
So um, we'll just you can, see how things go from here. You can be missing funny content, man. Yeah, funny content, man. He was very, very funny. We'll miss him. Like, he was really the one that uh, kept the... Like, he basically started the idea of doing the almost daily streams. Like, that was all him. He, he came to me one day, he's like, hey, we're gonna... I'm gonna stream Mega Man games, like, almost every day. And I'm like, dang, that... It's pretty... It's like a tall order, man, but... I'm with ya. And he did it. He sure did. Appreciate him for that. But, uh, you know, back to our own content. Uh, so yeah, one red for Dynamo, two green, eight blue, and then five yellows. Next up, the EM Supply Box. You're going to want four reds, four greens, one blue, and then four yellows. Icicle Thane is six reds, six greens, two blues, and then three yellows. Dr. Light card is two red, one green, one blue, and then four yellows. Sub tank, three red, green, uh, two greens for the sub tank, and then four blues, and then two yellows. Lastly, we have the Shadow Blade Buster. Two reds, three greens, one blue, and then lastly, one yellow. That'll get you all of it. Is and, this Dr. Light? Yeah, that Dr. was Light's all catch? the cheapest Dr. Light codes, so you can complete oh. it. I see. That always comes back. Oh. It comes like, like maybe like once a month, maybe twice a month. It doesn't come back that often, but when Lights. it does, uh, the community really Lights. comes That's together nuts. and like knocks it out of the park. It's actually crazy. Nice. Because uh, it would be a pain in the butt if we all had to find it ourselves every time. Because <laughs> it's literally, Honestly, yeah, uh, like... it's the, the whole event is literally trial and error, the game. Yeah, like, honestly, like, considering... It's always that you get you get into the game. You don't allow it. You you go into Doctor Light's capsule thing. You want to get all the rewards. Mm -hmm. Everybody who is part of any X type community, be it that be it the Discord community, be it this one, be it the X type servers that we see out there. Shout out Boyd. Um, we see like the code spent somewhere in some channel, and that's like five saber. We don't need to be honest. Anyway, we had another whale from LML123 saying, consider another early Xmas present. Five bucks. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, it won't be Very technically Christmas because it's just the way YouTube works. They're like, oh, well, uh, whatever you make this month, you won't get it for two months. So technically, it's like a, a New Year's present. But all, all the same. Thank you, man. It's, that's a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, <laughs> see, look at this, Dark Hunter once again already did challenge mode for me. How am I supposed to do content, dude? I'm joking. So we'll go ahead and <laughs> uh, do this. Just, you know, it's, it's a rerun, not a big deal. Uh, we'll play as Colonel, I guess. I don't think I've really shown much of Colonel at all. Uh, no less drink weapons. Mm. Okay. Use this one. It's the yeah, ice little thing. Oh, it's the ice little thing. Thank you, thank you. Let's go ahead and do that. They're about 20%. Oh, wait, do I have to. Yeah, I have to play double saber. Nice. For the maximum points, anyway. Ready? 
Yeah, uh, this whole event is about Colonel. He only has 20%. It's crazy. Uh, okay, hold on. <laughs> Do my controls. I haven't played on this PC in a while. Like, at least two months. See if it works now. Yep, there we go. Oh my god, I forgot about this dude. Uh, not what I had in mind there, Colonel. I just love the dodge mechanic. Let's see if we can hit him through the wall. It would have if he didn't dodge it. why this game is kind of getting old. Oh, they have always dodged. It's crazy. Honestly, like, no, no matter how much power you have, I still feel like they dodge way too much. <laughs> like, every, almost feels like almost every other other hit they just dodge for no reason. Like that, you know. And again, <laughs> I, I, it's like a, it's funny, but I'm not even exaggerating. But yeah, you know, it's just a rerun. It's a filler week, but I mostly wanted to do the stream today to kind of say, hey, I'm back on the old setup, the main setup, the actually good one. Pretty pog. That's fine. Wow. Oh, my fist. I remember the really funny glitch that happened in this stage. Where you can like go out of bounds and just go everywhere. It was really funny. Because for whatever reason, when you beat them, it just... Didn't actually end the stage, so you could go anywhere. Let's grab all this. Oh, I have to calculate all the medals. Oh man. Oh boy, he's already almost done. Let's do challenge mode for the content. That's actually somewhat new. I need a hand. We're gonna do... What if Shadow Armor fought the General? An X6 Armor. Gonna use... This one... And... I guess that. I don't know. It's my go-to.
Yeah, they uh, recently with these re with these rings, they've been doing like 25 medals at a time instead of like 10 or 20, which is nice. Fast boy. Oh, I had to actually touch the platform. Ah, uh, died the burn. I say the power requirements aren't really scummy unless uh, you're literally just starting the game because this game really does want you to grind. So a lot of the power levels assume you've been playing since day one essentially. I need to grab that data. Actually, I already have enough for rest drink. Gotta pan the camera all the way back. Oh. Oh, wait. Don't do that. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was an actual Mega Man X game where you can use the saber on the wall. No, you can't do that in this game. You just fall. Yeah. It's not a real Mega Man X game, unless you can do that. And that's how Broken Shadow Armor is. Like, seriously, like, Shadow Armor is actually crazy strong. And fast, too. Yes. Of course, you guys saw that when we did Jacob last time. <laughs> Basically took down two bosses by himself in one go. In fact, he did. Yeah, Luigi is um, on fire, dude. Oh yeah, um, and since Dark Hunter has been uh, playing with my account a lot, um, let's just say a lot of people noticed. So I've been <laughs> getting messages from people like, Oh dude, is that Shadowrock? Is that him? And yeah, I mean, it's my account. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Didn't have this many friend requests before, but, uh, I mean, I got the space, got... Uh, 51 slots there. <laughs> YouTuber question mark. Actually, I need to read these. Are you T real? One question mark. The Rock. GG. Slot in. Wind. <laughs> uh, oh, oh no, a confession. Um. I hate to break it to you, but I'm taken. <laughs> I like your YouTube -y. huge fan. Oh, thank you. I'm flattered. Your stream is cool. Nice. Yo, love the fids. Thank you, kind people. Y'all can. Oh. Apparently, I don't have enough slots for y'all. Yeah, okay, well, how about this? I'll only accept the people that send the custom message. 
Is anyone who did a custom message you're in? <laughs> Since you actually put in the effort. Uh oh. What's going on? Oh no, the game the game's dying. It's too many friend requests. What do you mean it's full? It's not full. Oh no. That is a lie. Really? Okay. <laughs> In today's episode of what could die possibly break next, they broke the friend request system. Oh dear. Oh no. Well, um, another nice thing Dark Hunter did for us is get our guild S ring. Wow, what a mansion! So yeah, uh, S-Rank baby, let's go. Uh, we need to get the energy pillar to max though. Got a bit of ways to go for that, but uh, we'll get there. In the meantime, folks, would you like to join the one and only Shadowrock CEX Guild? Well, now you can, because we have 11 slots open. If you are in the X server on the Taiwan server of X Dive, submit your application today, and uh, I'll, either me or Dark Hunter will accept it, probably. And also, if you're on the X, no, if you're on the Vial server, I'm pretty sure Specs Guild also has slots open, so you can probably do that, too. And uh, maybe maybe Quint can add someone if you're on the Axel server. Maybe. I don't want to speak for him though. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can add more people. Angel Toy, thank you for the 22 months. You guys rock. All right, well, uh, yeah. Well, besides that, what to do today? It's a very good question. Oh, I can open some boxes. <laughs> Let's see what we get. And I got a roll exe. That's one I need. Some dragoons. Nice. Send them to the trader. Yeah, he betrayed the irregular hunters. What a madman. And then he escaped to the volcano. Oh, lost medals. Let's go. Another nice thing that uh, since Dark Hunter's handling my dailies is he's most likely actually doing the deep recorder which I haven't touched in months because it sucks it's awful or actually did he oh I uh I guess he don't care about it either <laughs> or maybe he did that's at the last second well I'll let him do that but uh yeah Assuming he does, uh, that's another thing I've been slacking on. Because it's the most boring thing in this entire game. Like once you've done it once, you've seen it all. Yeah, it does exist. You tend to forget because it's so... It's just there, man. Yeah, you get a couple EMs and some memories, which is, like, the rewards are nice, they're worth it. But it's like, it's such a slog to get to that point. If it was actually fun, then yeah, definitely. Oh, some EMs. Oh man, that's a low roll. Oof.
Oh, they removed their random teleports. That's funny. That was a bit useless. <laughs> Okay, I'll take that. Now for some S rings. Rolly Ixy, good. Got a Nana. And I don't really need Hub Style anymore, but I'll take it. Cool. How far are we on Rolly Ixy anyway? Oh, we're halfway there now. Nice. Uh, oh yeah, there's another thing I can show. The new characters. So Halloween Via came out since the last stream. Of course, he's not available anymore, but there he is. Darn limited characters, am I right? And this one, I like this one. He was motivated. Like, Zero literally did the storm that is approaching. Again, might I add. And of course, I, I, this is the character I want the most right now. But my luck was so awful when he came out. That's unfortunate. Uh, you know, I'm definitely gonna go in on future dive fests, that's for sure. Oh hey, hello there. Oh, it's messing up again. I don't have to. F I have to do that on mobile or something. I don't know. Steam is weird sometimes. Nah, Dark Hunter like. Uh, Dive, Dive Cross Mega Man happened before Dark Hunter offered to help out. So that's not his fault. <laughs> uh, yeah, I won't bother that. Um, well, I guess let's play some co-op. Oh, there is a new stage I gotta show off. There is indeed. Yeah, let's do Power Plant. 17-2. I don't know if anyone's online to play though. Uh, or maybe Dark Hunter will help out. Are you? I'll just invite everybody. First come, I'm, first serve. I'm low level. That's unfortunate. Oh, actually, you, all of you guys are low level. Not Mega Fish though. Okay. okay, I know who the boss is though. Uh, so we're gonna go hub style for the content. That's fine. Oh, the person who's talking, that's Dekuma. Alright, let's go, baby. Content. I'm trying to add as many people as I can. It's just uh, the friend list is screwing up badly. That's just one of those things about this game is that something always breaks. There's always a deep log error.
No, oh, we're battling. Yeah, I still have the same critique as the first power plant level, though. It just looks slightly unfinished. I'm missing some textures or something. time baby this is actually kind of a cool one remember when I said that uh, I thought the first bad network event boss should have been base exe well there he is he's finally a boss I'm base I run the server to fight the strong you're strong you're worthy opponents the world's first independent enemy. I'll read this later <laughs> Oh, he's got the network transmission thing. Ah. Hold on, I'm coming back. Oh, he's got life aura. Ah. We did it. Broke him at reds. Not a charge shot. Oh no, the poor fish. Oh wait, I have to do this again. Or maybe I don't. Dark Hunter might have taken care of it for me. I think he did. Yep. It is not an S rank. Because for some reason he switched my sub tank off. Uh Yeah, we already got it though. <laughs> Thanks to Dark Hunter. And there you go, that was pretty neat, huh? I like it. It's actually a pretty neat fight. It's like one of the few times that a dive was actually really cool. And then the game breaks. <laughs> Something happens. Um, pretty much it for content, I think. Let's see, uh, rerun, Dr. Light Slam. Uh, you can get Storm Memories from Time Attack. Some, you know, some capsules, of course. I already have these characters, so I really don't care. Even though the ticket's nice. Yeah. I'm just gonna save up for whoever comes in the future. In the meantime, let's play some arena. Uh, guess we'll just hop into practice. We'll do one of each, and then I'll open rooms up. Not what I want to do. I am slightly okay of this. Yeah, whatever. I uh, will do damage stuff for another day. I actually need to. I need to extract my damage shuffle files from the crab top. So I'm not ready for it at this moment, but uh, in the coming days I'm going to bring it back. Because I can actually play everything in full frames again.
He's a ranger, huh? Oh well. And I, I, I don't got range. <laughs> I got speed though. Except when he's got life for her, I guess. I've actually never faced a die cross before. This is all new for me. Dang. So this is why I want him. <laughs> I want that man. And this stage, wherever it is, I don't know actually. Another one, so there's two stars this time. Ready? Two swords. Well, it does make a difference. Oh, they're grinding. Yeah, that's true too. Ah, uh, Steam's doing that thing again. Just messed up my layout. Yep. Hold on. Is that good? A little bit more. Alright, that's close enough. Okay, let's open rooms. Uh. I guess this one's fine. Alright, first come, first serve. You guys know the drill. I'll put the... thing. First challenger. Yo, was it the heart icons? Does that mean it's maxed out? That's new to it's me. It's a favorite. Oh, it's a favorite. Wait, they have favorites? <laughs> <laughs> Did they just implement another quality of life change I've been asking for? Characters and weapons. Uh... That's so useful. Any confusion resist against this guy. So much chaos, like, oh my god. Uh, so much chaos it made my window inactive. GG's. <laughs> oh wait. Not the right button, neither is that one.
Nice. I don't know about that, Mega Man Zero. Shadow Armor is extremely powerful against bosses too. Especially uh, the last form of High Max. It just treads that boss. He's definitely uh, showing his prowess here in Dyer. The big ol' attack boost. See, see how much range that Giga Attack has? It may as well be a screen nuke. GG's. The funny thing about using Shadow Armor for the gate stages though is there's that one part where if you don't have like a speedster or high jump, all that, like uh, making that one jump is like very difficult with Shadow Armor. I won't say impossible, but it's very difficult. Oh, Baba Boy. Who's out zooming who? Oh, Here comes the storm. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so you think you could have that one? Yeah, that's the thing about Shadow Armor. He zooms too. Ultimate Armor. Can I stand up to the ultimate? Yeah, like Shadow Armor. I mean, he's definitely a Dive Festival character. Because if you noticed, most of the Dive Fest characters are actually really good. Except uh, Ultimate Armor is kind of slower. He's like the very first Dive Festival character. So while he's like, okay, it's just like... Uh, there's been a lot of power creeping since then.
Yeah, Ultra Armor doesn't really live up to its own in this game. Nice, you got one. <laughs> well, I guess you win. Fixy. You take one, you win. <laughs> Does this game have balancing issues? Uh, my answer is observe. <laughs> <laughs> what balance exactly? Salty run back. Kek W, let's go. Yeah, see, Ultra Armor was good in the closed beta because he was the only S rank. <laughs> but then everything else came out <laughs> in the full game. Oh, I'm going backwards. Oh no. This man said, you can have this one because I'm going to sweep you in the next. I'm banishing you to the Shadow Realm. No! Much oh, better. No. <laughs> Made my window inactive again. Well, my boy, I only have two things to say to you. And the first one is... Looks like it's sweeping time. And the second one is. Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep. And that was what I wanted to say. He, he got angry. I actually will do a different stage this time. You think Mega Eggs will get a Side Beast Swarms added one day? I'm pretty sure it'll happen one day. As long as this game doesn't die. <laughs> Although, technically, we already got some Side Beast representation in Dive Cross Mega Man right here. If you look at his skills closely, you can see, like, the claws and stuff. Now someone's going to make a dive cross patch for Mega Man Battle Network 6. If there isn't one already. <laughs> Oh no, he can't. Or did he cancel it? I think he canceled it, yeah. Oh my god, is he gonna die to burn? Crazy. Oh 
Oh, there's Falzar, you heard it. We zooming, boys. Up oh, here it comes. Ah! <laughs> oh my, wa <wa-mo-chin-deru>. motion <laughs> Nehru. GG. Dead. Yep, dead. Crazy stuff. Oh, no. Oops. Oh. Create room should be the first option. That's the power of beasting now. And then now the power of a lolly. Oh no. Yo, Asar, why is the FBI on my doorstep? Uh, I'll explain later. <laughs> you violated the law. Say that. Ow. He said no. Should have stayed away. I got two. I got two. Go ahead and bring it to the beavers. Get back here. Hooray, we did it. <laughs> we defeated the lolly. Nobody <laughs> breaks the law on my watch. No, FBI, go away. I have, I have won. You cannot stop me now. I don't have the Among Us sound effect, but yeah, it makes sense, it's double X's. Oh man. I should wait to activate my Giga. Modus! 
Mongol. It's so hard just to get one hit in. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All right, let's go. Ah, uh, GG's. You came zooming. DGP got summoned. It's crazy. Must have been the lolly talk. Or it was the Among Us. That makes more sense. Denzel Light says, true story, I was at the grocery store, was in the fruits and vegetables section. I saw the bananas and in my mind I heard. Oh, and I proceeded to buy some bananas. Good, the marketing is working. It's doing its job. <laughs> with the two dollars back at streaming house life for you why I use launcher because this launcher is kind of insane but then again I don't play PvP enough to know what the meta is now I'm just using whatever I like because I can. Nice. Double KO! Donkey Kong 64 is a game. There's a randomizer for it now. Even though I haven't actually cleared the, the original game. I got in pretty far in it, but... I haven't actually beaten it. So I don't know if I should, I should jump to the randomizer right away. But it sounds chaotic. Cause there's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of that in the game. EK64 rando. I should legit just be like, screw Mega Man, I'm gonna become a Donkey Kong 64 streamer. <laughs> just for a little while. <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, okay, I'm gonna make the next one the last one. Since I'm not seeing a lot of different people.
Uh, PvP is public. Oh, nice. The dittos. You're the best. No, you're the best. No, you're breathtaking. You know you. Well, we'll see who's the best here. We'll settle it in battle. Oh, snap. <laughs> the stereo. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh no! Steam, what have you done? You made my window inactive. Oh, Steam is cheating now. Oh no. Oh boy. What happened? Uh, uh, I got a calm error in the middle of the battle. And then Steam made my window inactive, so I couldn't control X anymore. And then, uh, and then I just died. <laughs> Talk about the deep block and for real. You know what? Salty run back. <laughs> salty run back time. You bribed the stream. <laughs> on you <laughs> yo that's Luigi yeah the room is Fighting technically you. open putting you with his dog hello Mario hello leaps yeah, it is me, indeed. Ready? Okay, is this Neo or LML? Well, if you one that's playing against Cadillac right now is LML, you know Luigi. But this, the one who's talking, uh, I don't know who is this. Sorry. That's a good question. Oh, that's a good oh. question. Yeah. yeah. Boy, the shadow armor is. Broken. Like, if your character can't produce their own shield, you're gonna have issues with shadow armor. <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, that's, that's the meta today. It's like, you need to have a shield. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's on, that's on holy. Legit, on holy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, GG's. I saw that aggressive donation that Luigi pitched in a few moments ago. Jesus. Why well, did your mic sound different? Because I'm on a different mic. Nice catch. If you're talking about me though, that's because I'm on a cheap laptop. XD. Oh, he's talking. Oh, he was there. talking about Neo. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I don't know who he's talking about, but yeah, he says that was for Neo, actually. Yeah. Um, 
Well, that's because I'm on the laptop. On the laptop that isn't even mine right now. Because, well, my main PC is... Now, here's the thing, folks. Even though guy armor is slower, it's Mega Quint we're talking about. He's going to annihilate me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just because it's him. I don't, I don't know if I should say... Good luck? Or my condolences. See what I mean? <laughs> DGP says, bro, I literally, I literally send you a, a Guitar Hero mic. <laughs> that would be dope. But yeah, while Shadowlock here has gotten his PC back, uh, still, I'm still in the middle of building my new one, so, yeah. PP says, you know you're good at dive when you get sent to slurs at, at you at, at, at the end of the battle. <laughs> 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 it's true, <laughs> though. And Quint always gets them. I'm pretty sure I'm getting, uh... I've been getting hate mail too, I'm pretty sure, because of Dark Hunter. Because he is also <laughs> not too bad at the game. Like... You see how they much the Giga like... Attack was carrying me there? Oh! They, they always say something like, Hey, F you, lagger! Yeah, something like that. Or, stop pizza cutting! Is the pizza cutting? Oh, yo, 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 my guy, next time go pizza cut your mom. Asshole. I got two kills, I win. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, you got two kills, yeah. That's yeah, that's a win. If we're going by the uh, That's team. a win by my book. <laughs> <laughs> GG's queen. God bless Mega Quint. I was taking single digit numbers from far away. That's that's crazy. You know, I accidentally <laughs> misread that. And I thought he said I wasn't even taking oh, yeah, this he's got the He's got the super optimal build where if you're far away from him, you're doing like no damage. Jesus. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, but for for a moment I thought Quint said I, I wasn't even taking it seriously. <laughs> Legit. Yo. We both got base cross time. We are COVID compliant together. Twenty versus Shadowrun again, but this time using base cross. This is going to be interesting. Mm. Base cross gang, where you at? That's a good question. Oh, it's life or oh. And my emojis if you're from the base cross gang. Ooh. Uh, ooh. <laughs> I I just dropped. That's all I did. It happens. Quickman Zero says, My favorite cross is not base, but Shadow Cross. But Shadow Cross doesn't exist, though. I've never heard of Shadow Cross before. Maybe you're referring to Shadow Soul? That is a thing. From, from DM5 Colonel? That is a thing. Anyway, GG Luigi. Also, what is that name? Why do... No, never mind. You know, I thought, hey, that's an irregular name, that's a five-star white axle, white, white day axle, sorry. And I thought to myself, hey, 
isn't that spec? But then I saw the the rogue true love tag. Uh no, Bill was spec. It, it, she wouldn't have a dot. She would have said like the most random name you could think of. Yeah. And not even that. She would she wouldn't have like that rogue true love tag in the in her user. Because like the her name is a speckant. Oh. Interesting. Speed Blaster says, Hey CX, can I add you to friends and battle you sometime? Uh well I can add you as a friend. The thing is, if it's not a live stream, I'm pretty much never playing this game seriously. Yeah. That's just the fact oh, of life. Totally. Yeah. Like I'd rather be playing oh, other games if I have the time for it. That's why what Dark Hunter's doing for me is so amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't blame him. Before I overlook this, the Tennis of Light says, Question for Neil. Have you already finished streaming Mega Man 8 Bit Deadmatch? I really enjoy watching you play the game. Um, as a matter of fact, I might have... I might be finished when it comes to the single player content for the game, but there's mod and multiplayer content for the game left to cover. So, while I'm not technically finished, you might have to wait a, a little bit on me for that because, well, I have no, no comfortable means to stream right now. Like, the other day I tried to stream Pokemon Fire Red, and I simply gave up on this because this laptop is too slow for streaming. Would you still recover your old hard drive? Your old PC has a save. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll, I'll be recycling my main hard drives uh, for a little for, for like. A limited period of time before getting a new a new one. But yeah, yeah, we'll be we'll be we'll be using that same save game, and we'll be we'll be doing more a bit damage at some point. Dekima says, tell them why you love Fire Red. Um, it's simple, it's replayable, and honestly, one of the perfect Pokemon games for me. Although I gotta be honest, when it comes to Pokemon, I mostly like the Pokemon games because of the color. Yeah, you know, Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald? Like, you can ask me, hey Neo, why do you like those games so much? Yeah, it actually does so much damage. I thought I would be able to live one hit, but no. <laughs> nope. Is it because of the colors? Is it, is it, sorry, sorry is, it, is it because of the region? Is it because of the unique Pokemon? Is it because there's too much water? No, bruh, it's because of the colors. Like, you know, you got literally RGB. Pokemon colors? Oh, bro, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sonic colors? Sonic colors, bruh. <laughs> I got a fun story about Sonic Colors. Like my mom was on a trip to Argent to Argentina, and uh, I was like, "Hey mom, can you buy me that Wii game that you, that we saw in the store the other day?" And uh, that game that I was referring to that was Sonic Colors, and mom told me that she had gotten that specific game. Then she arrives. He, she arrives here in Venezuela, and I get to see the game. Hold on, this is not Sonic Colors. This is Super Mario Galaxy 2. Pokemon RGB. Wait, that already exists. <laughs> they already exist. That came out. That was the very first game. <laughs> yeah. Red, green, and blue. Yeah, there is actually a green in Japan. 
Green was basically our blue version, in a way. Hey, Neo, I got There's a question for you. How will, the, how will the Neo Plus work? Um, wow. oh. That's a thing, right, Asar? I mean, you can technically do a Neo Cross in the Shadow of Patch. There is a Neo Cross already, I thought. Yeah. Think of the base abilities, but like with some more melee. Oh Die cross Mega Man's too good. <laughs> now I want this guy even more. You didn't get him? No, my luck was awful. The last ten pull I did, I didn't even get an S rank. I just got a minimum roll. <gasps> oh, he clutched it. Oh snap! My God! Oh, no way! Crap. <laughs> oh, GG's, bro. GG's, my man. <laughs> bro, that was a that was a back and forth. Oh, oh. yo, Luigi, you, you got this man. <laughs> you know, you got this man on the edge on the edge of the. Of I the thought safe. I thought I lost that one. Yeah. I'll be perfectly honest. Sergio and Argandonia says. Scarlet or Violet? Yeah, I'm actually going to be playing Violet. Um, just because I'm not too interested in the Fred Flintstone Pokemon. Yes, I, I like me, the, the cool Saddle Kaiba like motorcycle. <laughs> uh, my dragon me, cycle. It's gonna be... Nothing! I'm more into the God of War Ragnarok hype train. And I'm gonna have my dragon... My dragon ship. Thank you! My boy! Kurt is a nice fellow. What is brown and sticky? Boy. Are oh, you doing a midnight release? I did that for X and Y. It was fun. I don't know. Oh, there is a GameStop around here, but I don't know what they're doing. I, I got it on uh, Nintendo eShop though, because I like to share with my sisters digitally. Since they're kind of in another state, I can't share with them otherwise. Is that I'm going to go to your home state and get that PS5 before you do. And then oh, nice. get a four rank. That was perfect. <laughs> nice! A tie! <laughs> Mega Man Zero says, correct me if I'm wrong, but have you guys seen videos on YouTube about the cancelled Mega Man MMO that was in the works? I think we have talked about that game, Mega Man Online, a lot in this channel. Mega Man Online? Yeah, that was certainly... Yeah, Rockman Online, sorry. That was certainly going to be a thing, and it was not. Oh, yeah. The, uh, it was like a Korean uh, MMO type game. But it looked really cool actually, but just wasn't meant to be, I guess. Yeah. It wasn't even because oh, oh. it was Capcom. It was because the company actually went bankrupt. So they had to like, cancel a lot of their projects. Well, all their projects, I guess. 
since, yeah. you know, uh... The, yeah. Oof. Honestly, honestly, I think the one... I think we all can agree with this. The worst cancellation was definitely Legends 3, by far. It wasn't until recently, though, when we found out about the Star Force 4 and CX3 and the like. I like to think, in some regards, that Dive is kind of a spiritual successor to both Crossover and uh, the MMO game, Rockman Online. Because it kind of carries forward uh, a couple of the ideas from both. I mean... Definitely, Rock Rockman X Over would have been a better a better name for for this game that Mega Man X died. Yeah. This game should have been Rockman Cross Dive. I'm still waiting for the day they just do the thing that Pokemon Masters did, or just like change the title of the game. Like, uh, they're gonna legit add, uh, over one, and then they're gonna be like, it's Rockman Cross Dive now, folks. <laughs> Everyone's here. I love, I, I, I simply love how everybody, everybody refers to, to the Pokemon Gacha as Master Sex. Oh my god. Yeah, that's an unfortunate hashtag. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the greatest thing the community could <laughs> come up with. It. Uh, yeah. Who have come up with. They, they should have thought that through a little bit more before they went through that change. <laughs> Especially considering the type of content they make related to and based in their franchise. But well, that's the internet for you. Yeah. Oh wait, what? I did something? <laughs> cool. You did something. I did something. Oh. What is GG's. <laughs> it's no use. It's no use. Uh, no, Mega Man Zero. We don't have Ash or Gray in X Dive. Like. We don't even have bent in X Dive. No problem. But we have three different AL variants. This is true. Bruh. Bruh. Right, Dean. Alright, um, I like this stage a little better. Alright, let's say we'll play three more times, then I'm gonna call it, because it's getting about that time when spec gets off. Almost that time. Mr. Kurt. Among Us!
Yeah, the connection be a thing. Oof. Wow. Any any other takers? So I'll go ahead and copy the code. I wasn't too into Among Us at first because I'm not into like those type of games where you have to role play essentially. Because I'm not good at role playing at all. Don't ask me to do it. So. But, um. Like when you're playing with friends, it's pretty fun. There's this one game where Spec and I figured out who the imposter was early on. So what we did is the both of us just circled around and followed around the imposter. And then the imposter did an emergency meeting and they're like, these two are following me. They're the imposters. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. They really did not like that. It was so funny. Sorry, not sorry. Yep. Mate, mate, mate. Mate, this. <laughs> That's such a good death cry. <laughs> GG. <laughs> I think doing voiceover is a little different than doing like text based role playing. Reenacted X6 is pretty epic. You know, in a gate for a permanent character. That's a wait. Is he permanent? I had to double check he that. Is. Oh, he is. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm not stupid, uh, as much. But, uh, for a permanent character, he's actually pretty good. I like him. Oh no, the stereo. 
Hey, where's your shield ammo? I noticed you're not getting a shield. You're five stars. That shield. Your shield. It's a chip, right? Yeah, that is kind of like says. Do you think that Capcom sees it? game as a main series game equivalent and that being why we haven't got a one all right last one boys um honestly that is sound of light being cap Capcom uh does capcom see as a to main series yeah. i think yeah, capcom like, is well aware that this is for, like a for them to see that yeah yeah but like i don't even if it's even if this is a spin-off, I don't think... And even if this makes a lot of money, I don't think they consider this a main series equivalent. Like, by any means. Really? If you want so... to kind of get down to it, the reason why we haven't seen, like, a, a console game in a while is because of COVID, really. Like, even the Bound Network stuff should have happened, yeah. like, a year ago. But, you know, COVID happened. Pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Let's let's not forget that Capcom is not throwing all of their horsepower into the in, 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 into the into the race when it comes to Mega Man. They're only getting a fraction of their staff to work on these games after all. So yeah, we gotta be very patient. Like, you know, when it comes to a because, worldwide pandemic, you're going to prioritize your money makers. Is your money makers are Resident Evil, exactly. Monster Hunter, maybe Street Fighter. But Mega Man is not one of them. Street Fighter. Like, for a low budget project, it, it's doing pretty well recently, but it's low budget. Yeah. Oh. Although... GG's. Honestly, it was a big thing that Mega Man 11 over... Like, that Mega Man 11 overtook uh, Mega Man 2 as the highest selling game in the franchise. So, it's a huge plus. Oh my god. This game hates me right now. Mega Man is top four, says LML. Uh, top four? I wouldn't even say that. Because you got Double May Cry 2. Uh, it still blows my mind people think Mega Man is a big series for Capcom. Me too, me too. <laughs> Every time I bring up that Mega Man's kind of niche compared to other Capcom franchises, there's always that one guy that's like, No! Monster Hunter is less popular than Mega Man. Alright, well, I know who hasn't been paying attention to the sales charts lately. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Sorry, here on Argandonia, Luigi say, I mean, according to numbers, it's a it is actually top four, but but top four in what? Top four exactly. overall, top? like, franchise sales, like, cool. like, overall game sales across the entire period that it's been a thing. So, like, how it breaks down is, uh, you know what? Let me get it up here. Uh, how do I find this? Capcom Top Franchises. We're gonna break it down for y'all right now. Let's see. Um, what, what I want. I guess this is good enough. No, it is not. There is this one thing. Uh, 
Okay, I have a better idea. Okay, so just know that... Or maybe if I go to Capcom IR... Investor Relations... Maybe it'll come up. Let's see. Overview? Do, 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 do. There you got the financial results. Oh, they got a Mega Man loading bar. That's pretty nice. LML says number one is Monster, Monster Hunter. Number two is Resident Evil. Number three, Street Fighter. Yeah, number we, four we is that. Mega Man. From what I, have. I'm trying to like. That's a strange. Oh, I found it. Okay. Let's do a little bit of screen sharing here so I can break it all down for y'all. Let's see. Yeah. It's screen sharing in Discord or or yeah, it works. Okay. the stream. You guys see this, right? Okay. So I'm seeing it. All right. So stock, my you lost said... planet the rising. He said, where's Monster Hunter here? Okay, no, Resident Evil is number one. So they had 155 games for 131 million, right? Monster Hunter had 55 games, 88 million units of sales. Number three was Street Fighter. So they had 94 games, 49 million units of sales. But, okay, so like Resident Evil was 155, which is really good. Mega Man has more than that by three games. 158 freaking games in the Mega Man franchise. Eh, but they only have 38 millions of sales. So even though it's technically number four, you see the difference when you go from... Mega Man to Resident Evil, or even to Monster Hunter. Like, these are doing, like, double and triple the amount of Mega Man for as many titles as they put out for those. Oof. And let's look at something yeah. else. Let's look at Platinum titles. There's where we're going to really put things into perspective for y'all. So Monster Hunter has 18.5 million units that's their number one right now like the most money a capcom games ever made right there followed by resident evil 7 biohazard 11.3 million and then monster hunter rise is the latest one 11.2 it's actually you know about to come become number two right there resident evil monster hunter resident yeah. evil street fighter resident evil street fighter it keeps going, you keep going and going and going. When you, you who this? like when do you guys think we're gonna see a Mega Man game? Anyone wanna take any guesses? Surely it's in the top fifty. Will, it's I'm gonna be it's perspective it's that most of Capcom's that. top ten have been released in the last five years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not even in the like, top fifty, yeah. folks. Where are we gonna find a Mega Man game that's, out that's, here? Oh my Last god. Last time I remember it was in the 60s. Last oh, time I remember man. it was in the 60s. By the way, folks, I just want to point out that a freaking Ace Attorney game sold more than a Mega Man game. All the Mega Man games. <laughs> and that's the first yeah. Ace Attorney anything to break platinum titles. It's that yeah. another re release of the okay. first three games. So, slot number 67, we finally found our first Mega Man game, which is. The new king of the throne, Mega Man 11, at 1.6 million units. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, that's the reason why I thought the, the that fourth place placing for Mega Man was very strange to me. Like, okay, it makes sense in overall units sold when you have, like, freaking 158 releases. Mm -hmm. uh, by the but way, like, uh, uh, you guys are pointing out RE4 is there. That's the GameCube version. That's not accounting for all the re-releases that the game has had. Yeah. 
Yeah. And GameCube yeah. wasn't the most successful console, to be honest. So 1.6 is actually very good for GameCube. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah, and then the next successful Mega Man game is Mega Man 2, 1.5, you know, 1.51 million. Down in the 70th place. Mm -hmm. And then we keep going. You think we'll see another oh. Mega Man game? Oh, yes, we will. Oh, it's it's Mega Man Battle Network 4, the only Battle Network game to be on the Platinum list at 1.35 million units. So count them. That's three Mega Man games so far. That's break, broken a million. Yeah, that, that's a Battle Network kink for you all, fellas. Yeah, and then we have Mega Man Legacy Collection, the entire reason why Mega Man 11 even exists in the first place, 1.3 million units, because it actually did well. So they're like, yeah, we'll go ahead and make 11. Yeah, you own that game. Mm-hmm. And then, number, or were we at five? Yeah, number five, Mega Man X, 1.16 million units. The very first game on Super Nintendo. Pretty big Take for Take that today. back, Eric Solar. It's not the worst Battle Network game. Please take that back. And then we have our last Mega Man game on the Platinum list, Mega Man 3, 1.08 million. In the and that's it. So, yeah. Uh, other than those six, no other Mega Man games to this day has broken a million. And let me remind you, there's 158 games in this franchise. Only six of them yeah. broke broke into the platinum list. That's such a low ratio. So then. Yeah. This is this is what I'm talking about. This is why Mega Man, yeah, it might have been pretty big like in the 80s, 90s. But since then, not really. It's just yeah. been very niche. Like a lot of stuff, like the reason why we haven't gotten Legends 3 aside from the whole screw up of Inafune announcing the game had been greenlighted yet. The reason why Capcom was so hesitant to greenlight is because Legends 1 and 2 didn't even break 100k. Like 100,000. That's really low. So that's why they're like, I don't, we, don't, we don't want anything to do with Legends 3. We have no faith in it selling. That, yeah. That's just the unfortunate truth about it. I know it's a sore spot. You know, spot, this but... is why... This is why I want that... Mega Man skin to be a thing in Fortnite. I need that promotion, fellas. You know, I want to see this franchise thrive, you know? And, you know, it's thriving now more than it ever has before with Mega Man 11. And Dive's been yeah. doing alright, too. You know? But, yeah. Um, you know, uh, they are... We, we've had uh, leaks the last couple years with uh, Rockman Tyson... Apparently they're aiming for like two million for like the over the course of three years. And that, that would be the most the Mega Man games ever done before. Including eleven. If I if I recall correctly, that Mega Man Zero Time Rift game was cancelled, right? Yes, it was cancelled. Uh yeah. yeah. It's not a thing anymore. What will we ever see Tyson announced? Um, my personal hope is next month, because the thirtieth the thirty fifth anniversary of Mega Man's coming up, and if any if the thirtieth anniversary is anything to go by, they might have like some kind of anniversary celebration stream. That's my hope, but I mean, if that doesn't happen, I don't know. Uh, probably sometime next year, I would guess. Because it's been in development for quite a while now. Uh, the original leak said it was supposed to come out 2022. But of course that was before COVID happened. And as you guys know, like if a game wasn't close to completion already, COVID pretty much threw the timelines of every game off by a lot. Like, uh, you know, 
Eguchi-san said it himself. Or actually, it was um, it was Ochi-san, the Rockman Unity guy. He's like, uh, last year during the Bad Network anniversary, the 20th anniversary, he's like, I'm sorry we don't have really anything much to announce at this time, but, you know, if it wasn't for COVID, we might have had more to share today. And, you know, and this year we started to see, like, what they were working on before COVID, like, the crossovers with other mobile games, and then, of course, Bound Network Legacy Collection. And all the merchandise, too. So... You know, it's kind of what's happening. We're kind of playing catch up with like EXE celebrations and then Tyson and then whoever might be after that. It's going to take a little bit to catch up, I think. Yeah, if you guys want to see uh, things continue the way it has, um, definitely support Banner Legacy Collection. Uh, support however you can. Whoever we get. Uh, Dive, that's up to you. <laughs> I mean, it's a mobile game. It's probably going to make the money regardless. Basically, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, keep, keep Better Network Legacy Collection alive, fellas. That's what's going to decide the, the future of the franchise, especially for the multiplayer aspect. Mm hmm. And, uh, well, yeah, honestly, it's hard. Do we see Tyson, like anything about Tyson being announced within the next month? Because, I mean, with BMLC coming up, will you well, think they will talk about my... the title? Okay, here's my pipe dream, right? That next month they do a 35th anniversary stream where they give us an update on Banner of Legacy Collection, maybe a release date because we still haven't gotten a release date yet. And then yeah. like, it, like towards the end, they'll be like, oh, here's Tyson. There's like a teaser trailer for it. You know, maybe not a release date or anything, but like, you know, here it is. We are indeed working on something. Like, you know. It's not like they can't talk about bullets because let's not forget. Mega Man 11 and the X Legacy Collection was announced at the same time. Exactly. Like, they had that 30, 30th anniversary stream. They legit just gave us, like, uh, cl the classic uh, Legacy Collections on Switch. And then they announced X Legacy Collection. And then they announced 11 after that. So, you know, anything's possible, folks. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess, I guess that's right. That's correct. Mm -hmm. I mean, I will think this scenario will be a little bit different, you know, considering that the BNLC has a multiplayer aspect to it, but... Like, yeah, that's another thing yeah. too, like, Tyson's rumored to be a multiplayer-focused game as well, so having two multiplayer Mega Man games kind of the same year, that would be interesting if they do it that way. It will be interesting. But at the same time, Battle Network is also a single-player RPG as well. As they're going for yeah, yeah, yeah. That's correct. Yeah, you know, like us hardcore fans like our net battling, but uh, at the end of the day, it is like the designed to be a single player RPG. First and foremost, yeah, like late, later games, like true. got better at the balancing act, but uh, the early games, oof, Anubis. <laughs> Anubis. 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 BN2 and 3, Phyllis is spamming Gator and Folder back. Oh my god. <laughs> Although, well, do we see Folder back even being like useful in multiplayer? Like, how quickly will you run run out of the, run out of your chips before somebody dies? Hmm. Don't know. <laughs> Guess we'll see. It would be kind of interesting if they made like a ban list for it. <laughs> <laughs> no Anubis 
for every game. <laughs> Uh, you know, I had an idea, actually, for how they could do a ban list, because in the core games, and the original games, I should say, uh, they have a practice mode, and then a real battle mode, where if you lose the real battle one, you lose a chip to your opponent. Uh, they could, like, do a ban list for the real battle mode, but then leave, uh, like, leave it untouched for the practice mode. I think that could work, uh, uh, but you know they haven't really gone into detail on how they they plan to go about multiplayer. It could be a whole new menu for all we know, or it could be yeah. exactly the same. Uh, we don't know. <laughs> I hope there are lobbies. Yeah, uh, that's another thing I want is lobbies so that we can uh, play with friends and viewers alike much more easily. Jason of Life says, how is Capcom in terms of fan games? Are they lenient? Well, considering the fact that I that I had well over 20 sessions of Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch on this channel, and there were no issues about it, then yeah, they're, they're, they're okay with it. And there have been plenty of fan games played on this channel in the past, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, more to come, Everybody. Sure. Uh, Everybody knows about Mega Man Unlimited. Yep. Basically. And uh, like my mods too. Like the improvement patches, the randomizers, and even the crazier ones. Like Minus Affinity. Mm hmm. Rockman 70B. Um, Chrono X. Yeah, I actually covered Chrono X, the demo. They're coming out of the new version, though. I don't know when, however. Yeah, uh, I explained this to someone in the past, but uh, I don't want to touch Shanghai EXE. I know people want me to do it, but uh, because I'm a Capcom creator, and Capcom is not a big fan of Shanghai EXE because in the past they used assets from the actual games. And not to mention, uh, the original game at least had a Patreon, which is a big no-no for fan games. Like, you don't want to make any money off the games in any way if you want to stay on the official creator's good side. So they, they they took it down and they took down took it down again when someone tried to revive it. I know like and there's been more revival since then, but since I'm a Capcom creator, it's in my best interest not to touch it. Don't touch it even with a stick, fam. No, not even with a stick. It it doesn't have a paywall in game. Unless they added it recently, I have no idea, but they had a Patreon where, like, you could, uh, support the development costs, I guess. So it's like, it's not in the game, it's outside the game, but still, like, typically you don't want to, uh, ask for money. Or even charge, god forbid you charge money for the game. Uh, there has been projects that have done that before, like on Steam and stuff, and yeah, that's definitely very shady. And then it's just usually a it's a big no-no for fan game stuff because uh, Capcom makes it very clear that for any fan projects you're not allowed to make money off their IP period uh, the only exception to that rule is like monetization through YouTube and stuff they see that as okay but not directly using their IP and then making money off of it Unless it's through YouTube or Twitch monetization. <laughs> well, that's how it is. Shadowrock on his way to take down all the patrons for the Shadowrock patch. 
<laughs> I don't even have a Patreon not anymore. I had it for like a month or two, but then I'm like, nah. Only fans. <laughs> Yeah, as long as the fan game doesn't make money, they're usually okay with it. Uh, the only exception was like when uh, Capcom was making Resident Evil 2 Remake, but then uh, a group of fans started making their own RE2 Remake. So Capcom sent them a, like a notice saying like, Hey guys, we're actually making an official RE2 Remake, can we ask you guys to stop? And also, you can come by our office so we can talk about it a bit. Well, that's neat. Like, if you're gonna take down a fan game, that's the way to do it in my eyes. You know, I wonder how much they paid the creator. The creator or creators, I don't even know if it was a team or a single person, of Mega Man X Street Fighter. Um... Or walking well, basically, uh, I think they did assist with development costs for that game. Like, mm. uh, the team pitched the fan game to them, like the PR managers at the time, at uh, an E3, and they liked it enough to where, like, they said, Yeah, we'll help you uh, get it out there. That's, that's, that's like a once in a lifetime opportunity, man. It is. And honestly, it was a genius idea. Yeah. Sorry if I sound like this. I mean... Yeah, so, you know, when people say that, uh, oh, Capcom's totally gonna take down this one fan game because Nintendo does it. Like, Capcom is not like Nintendo at all. They're usually very lenient on this stuff. Capcom and Stega does what Nintendo. Yeah. Um, I stole that joke from Eric Solar. <laughs> then, then again, there has been some weird instances lately. Like uh, someone was working on a a fan remake of Rockman EXT Phantom of Network, and for some reason, Capcom sent them a cease and desist on it, and we don't really know why yet. Like, is it because they're doing their own kind of remake or what? Because they don't usually take down fan games unless uh, there's like something wrong with it. Like they're making money or it's a conflict of interest or something. And to my knowledge, uh, the creator was not making money off of it. That's, a, that's definitely one of the weird outliers. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that was a mouthful. <laughs> mm hmm But, um, you know, when people ask me now about why Mega Man is niche, I'm just gonna clip that part of the stream and just send it, send the link to them. <laughs> I guess, you yeah. know, the point of something else. Remember how much people hated Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite? How that thing, game was just lambasted? About its entire existence. Oh yeah. Even after yeah. death, it's still lambasted. It oh still sold more God. than every Mega Man game. Yeah. It did. Like, people were like, "Oh my God, I hate this game so much. It's the worst Marvel vs. Capcom game ever." Which it is. You're you're correct. But you know what? I'm pretty sure the big reason it sold that much is because of the story mode. It's because people really wanted to see that story mode, even though it was terrible. Mm -hmm. honestly, honestly, the reason why why I disliked it was because, bro, Captain America there looked more muscular, looked more muscular than I, bro. Yep. Because the amount of times I some surprisingly see people are streaming Marvel Infinite and they're streaming a story mode, it's like, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, why? Like, if you just want to see it, there's a YouTube video for it. Mm-hmm. 
You would think that maybe they tried to to replicate the injustice formula with the story mode. No, that's the thing. They did try to do it twice for both Street Fighter V and Marvel Infinite. Both were terrible. Incredible. So thank God they're doing World Tour mode for Street Fighter VI. Yeah. Uh, second, Neptune had a question. I think they're asking if you can play the English version of Dive on PC, and the answer is no. Uh, the Steam version is only for the Taiwan servers. Granted, the game's still in English, so if it's just about reading things, then yep, yeah, go ahead. But if you want, you know, good connection, or you don't want to play with the Nebula Joy folks, that is mobile only. Yeah. Like, you can play in English, but yeah, it's not going to be the Nebula Joy server. Even though, even though this is the Taiwan version, it will still be completely English. But hey, if you want to play uh, over here with us on the Taiwan server, we welcome thee. <laughs> you get to have characters like yeah, Dive Cross Mega Man. Shadow Armor X. <laughs> Dr. Light. Yeah, a lot, you know, because, you know, the Taiwan version came out first, so it's the one that's most up to date. Which is why we still play it. Yeah, because we don't want to start over. We don't want to play catch up forever. <laughs> Yo, fellas, come up, come over to Taiwan. We got, we got Poncarato, and, and we got, and we got uh, <laughs> EXA Seal. Oh. Oh. Oh, man, you got my mix, Dave, yo. Yeah, Ryu, Doctor Light. What a man, man. We memed about this guy for a little while and then they just went ahead and did it. I love them for that. Nebula Joy is a very uh, weird company. I understand they've gotten better recently, but uh, they did not have a good start. I mean, they made some recent choices that have already turned people off again. Oh boy. It all started with the second Monster Hunter event with Battlestrike Zero and Zenogre Iris. Because they decided, you know what? We're going to copy what Taiwan is doing now and split the characters up. Oh. Oh. What a concept. So yeah, instead of the two being on the shared banner like it was the, when we got it, they had to wait another week for Zero to come around after Iris did. And they had to, you know, if people wanted to spark for them, they had to pay double. Oh no. <laughs> and the thing is, it, 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 the reason it was, people made such a sting over was just how much, you know, the PR people tried to, you know, justify it with math. It was like, yeah, the math is that you get more money. <laughs> so they're, they're like, oh, hey, guys, why are you doing this? Oh, uh, because money. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I gotta that's that's too well. funny. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta, they try to I say gotta. like, look, this is actually better odds for you guys. It's like, no. No, it's not. <laughs> the best odds are when you get both characters in a single temple, but that's not possible now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Honestly, the... Yeah, the biggest travesty, as I've discovered over there, is what they've done to the Die Festival banners. Okay, well, well they do. Well, you know how in our Die Festivals, all the previous Die Fest characters are sparkle and in the banner? Yeah. Yeah. Not the case. Not the case. Oh, they don't do Not that. the case over there. 
They pick and choose like six die fest like characters each time it comes around, and that's all you get. Golly Not only man. that, there's, there's also no permanent characters in the banner either. The only S rank characters are those select die fest characters, and that's it. That's atrocious and utterly disrespectful. Why even play? Jesus. Yeah. Unlike us, if you, like say if you want to get, you know, Omega Zero when he eh, for the next Diefest banner. Well, you better hope he's in a roster, otherwise you're waiting another month or so to see if he's there. Dang. Uh, that's that, that's atrocious, man. That's horrible. What the hell? I know I said before that there's too many dang characters, but oh dang, they they took it a little too far, I think. I mean, listen, the whole thing about sparking for anyone in the Dive Fest banners is part of the reason why I often get motivated to play. Because, well, I know that, for example, that the, that the base GS banner has, is, is long gone. The base double X banner is long gone. But, they, but I can still get them if I commit myself to it. Yeah. If you get 25k medals, you basically got them. Yeah, basically. But you can't do that in the global version, apparently. This is another. This is another reason why we will never play the global version here. I mean, it, it, well, was, it was already like the nail in the coffin was really just the fact that they're so behind with this version. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Basically. But uh, yeah, the, the shady stuff is also, also turns one off. Yeah. Hey, yo, so man, got come, come, come to Taiwan, huh? We got, we got, we got Punkerado with, with duct tape in her, in her chest, bro. Come over, fam. Yeah, let's not forget, they were the ones who were originally going to be making that Time Rift game, but then it got cancelled. For some behind-the-scenes yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So I can only assume that dive is a ticking time bomb over there too. Yeah, I'm surprised it hey. hasn't died already. Oh. I'll be Nick. honest. Oh. Nick. Talk. I gotta be honest. Now that you highlight the road clear in the in the in the character selection bar, she's actually one of the few OCs of this game that I well. I think quite literally the only OC that I that I tolerate in the game. Their design is really cool. Yeah, uh, the story is a little misleading for the general tone for how the rest of this arc went. Because I assumed that just straight up, you know, Arata was just going to be evil. And you know what? I would have accepted that. I probably would have liked her more if she was just outright evil. But no, yeah. if everybody's all woe is me. Yeah. <laughs> um. I did see that Global's been offering a lot of free temples, and it's like, every time I say this, there's this one dude in chat that always comes up like, uh, actually, Global Dive makes more money than Taiwan Dive. I don't know if that's true or not, but regardless- Where are you getting these numbers? One, where are you getting these numbers? Two, um, if, if you're giving the player base a lot of free pulls, that tells me you're desperate for them to log in. Because there's yeah, nothing maybe. better to get someone to log in than free pools. <laughs> Honestly, when it comes to, to not only mobile games, but life service games in general, the more free stuff they try to offer, to me, in my book, it means they're being more scummy about wanting your attention and that's the way I see it. That's the way I honestly think it is. As for the Kima says, I want Neo, I want a base X, base double X, and they gave me a Rado. Oh man, I can't do that. Neep say, here's a good question. Is that other Mega Man still happening? The one that should be a fighting game? If you're talking about Tyson, let's We talked about that earlier. Yeah. We talked about it earlier, and we are no developers. 
We're just waiting for an announcement, wherever that may be. Yeah. Honestly, uh, the thing is, Mega Man Zero. Dive already is coming to Switch if you follow the data mines. Like, this was. This came out, like, a year ago that we got the news that we found Switch assets in the data mines. It's been a while, but, uh, then again, the Steam version did take a while from when it first appeared in data, too. Oh, why do you say forgive me for my heresy? It's no, I, I want on. I want, I want on Switch. What do you mean? Yeah, <laughs> I think the yeah, heresy no, is I, wanting dive in general. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you do what you you do what you want with your time. I have nobody to tell you otherwise. Like if if I was on Switch, I could have played it on there instead of on my phone or, God forbid, the crap talk. You know. You know, sorry, you know Tussle Dragon, right? Huh? You know Tussle Dragon, the user? Yeah. Well, he, he did a pretty interesting mod in his Switch. Uh, please, Nintendo, don't pick into this conversation. But he got X-Dive, the Android version. Okay, it? Like, it was weird. And the performance was god awful. But yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Android version? Yeah, the Android version running on a Switch. And actually, the, the Switch uh, had Android installed into it. Oh. Uh, like, imagine how cursed. I mean, that's what optimization is for, though. Like, yeah, you gotta make it native to the platform if you want to get anything out of it. Basically, yeah. Just look at The Witcher. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. good Switch ports do exist. It's just that, uh... Nier Automata. That's yeah. basically... Yeah. A port's so good that even Square Enix themselves were surprised by it. Yeah. I think they're surprised by everything. Them and Atlas. <laughs> because Hello, the, what the, we were what the president of Square does, and yeah, it doesn't surprise me. We were still shocked. trying to get NFTs. We were shocked to learn that Persona sold well, and people actually want native ports for Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Cross face. Are we? Almost, we are almost done. We're having just a little bit of a podcast, right? Oh, it's a real shame that Neo the World Ends with you underperformed. Now, as you well, you shadow dropped the scene version with no advertising. Gee, I wonder why. I didn't On the do same well. day as Persona 5 just ported the scene. Gee, I wonder why it didn't do well. I, I don't get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, speaking of The Witcher, Superman will no longer play The Witcher, says Techman. Oh, yeah, this is a thing. Yeah, this, this is a. Uh... This is a podcast right now. Sorry, yeah. guys. Like, welcome back to the realm of the Shadowcast. Um, welcome back to the Rise of the Shadowcast. Welcome back to uh, Dive Hour. Yeah. <laughs> um, that can must say. That can must say that. And yeah, this is true. You know, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the with the with the series, The Witcher, the the, the show. That they were doing in streaming, they were, they were airing in streaming services. And, you know, we know that Henry Cavill was playing the protagonist, uh, Gerald of Rivia, in this, in this show. Until he basically told them to screw off and well, They're now getting, they're now getting Liam Hensworth. To play Gerald of Rivia, people are getting mad, and they that show passed. People seriously love Harry Cavill.
it's true. Like, if, if a game's running bad on Switch, it's probably because they didn't optimize it that well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. basically. But, uh, you know, at the same time, it is true that Switch hardware is aging. Like, it was already underpowered when it came out, but now with, like, PS5 and Xbox Series X out on the field, yeah, it's showing its age for sure, so. Yeah. Hopefully, either, like, the next console or at least a Switch Pro comes soon. That's what I'm waiting for. Megavish says, are we raiding the shadows like legends? There you go, I did a funny sponsorship meme, now give me my money. <laughs> like, you can tell developers are giving up on Switch because uh, there's a lot of cloud ports recently, like Kingdom Hearts, Resident Evil, and more. Yeah. And, uh, well, considering things. Like, the only reason it's happening but, in the first place is because Switch is selling gangbusters. They want in on that money, but they don't want to put in the effort to do a, like a, a native port. Yeah. I mean, let's let's be fair about this. The foot is an it, it, it's it's an underpowered console. Yeah. Right now, compared again, to the PS5 like, and, S and the Xbox Series. It's like with Resident Evil, I get it. Kingdom Hearts 3, I get it too. But the uh, HD collections for the Kingdom Hearts series, no, there's no excuse for that. It ran on PS3 just fine. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's weird. If you want to play those games, just get a Steam Deck, bro. You get a Steam Deck, bro. You know, uh, the more you guys talk about Steam Deck, the more I want it. Stop that. <laughs> Like, uh, when one of you guys mentioned that you could probably play, uh, Bound of Legacy Collection on, on the Steam Deck, like, online and stuff, with other PC users, I'm like, stop that, you're making me want a Steam Deck. <laughs> I mean, not probably. I know, That's it, gonna it, be a thing. It, it, it is gonna be a thing. You guys need to stop that <laughs> right now. I'm trying to downplay <laughs> it over here, so I don't buy it. <laughs> well, see, the, the issue... The like, tells them, like, like, the people on the street that are like, Hey, yo, man, check out my mitts, Tabia. Then my uh, ball mouse says, you know, I'm going to stick to my Switch no matter what. That's admirable, but the issue is... Bounder Rick Legacy Collection is not cross-play compatible. That means if you play the Switch version, you can only net battle up other Switch users. Or if you play PC, you can only net battle up other PC users. So that's why a Steam Deck is kind of viable because if you want to play with your friends on the PC version, now you have like a portable device to play it on. That's kind yeah. of like a Switch. Listen. I never, I got nothing against people who play on Switch, PS4, Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, PS5, whatever. Um, I've been a PC gamer all my life, and honestly I think it's like the most versatile platform for me to do stuff in it, because not only it allows me to game, but also to work on it, and so many other dumb stuff that comes into my mind and honestly listen I, I love my friends who play Squid, uh, PS5, Xbox, consoles, whatever 
And I'll, I'll admit that often I do feel left out whenever people are like, you know, getting, getting a specific game for a specific console and everybody's getting it and there's no possible way for me to get it at that moment. And I'm you know, like, you know what? It, feel, it feels bad. Um, I love my friends and everything, but... Um, bro... I gotta be realistic. I gotta stick with what with, with, with got me into the dance. Like, <laughs> I'm a broke fella after all. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, we guys stream Pokemon Scar and Violet. Uh, my answer to that is, is there interest for it? Because we're a Mega Man channel, uh, so that means anything that's not Mega Man typically doesn't do too well for us, like, viewership-wise. So it's one of those things where I wouldn't do it unless there's actual interest in it. And also, not to mention, streaming Pokemon can be a little bit boring for a casual playthrough. Usually you want to spice it up with a challenge like a Nuzlocke or something else. That's why every time I've streamed Pokemon, I've done like a, a like a Mega Man Nuzlocke style challenge with it. Just to spice yeah, it up a little bit. There's always something to it. Yeah. Like you, streaming Pokemon like just casually, nothing attached to it, it, it can get kind of boring. Unless you really like that streamer. Hard. First came out. <laughs> uh, say that again, Quint. The Unless it was Legends Arceus when it first came out, because that was new. Yeah, Legends yeah. Arceus is definitely a very unique game. It was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there's, this is true that there are two Pokemon that we're pretty sure were designed by Hitoshi Origa. The one behind the Mega Mix comics, manga, whatever. Uh, they definitely look like Mega Man Battle Network characters. Yeah. Wouldn't be his first Pokemon, but these two are definitely very Mega Man esque, as the internet has noticed. Huge you EX say? Yeah, like when they got announced, like everybody, everybody on the internet was like, Bro, this is like straight out of Mega Man. What the heck? Fan art be rolling. QGEX says, So, any plans to streaming being Legacy? Oh, is that even a question? We can be sure we are. Uh, hot take Old like Mouse. Legends Arceus won a sword and shield. Honestly, uh, I, I agree with you. I don't think that's a hot take. <laughs> so, yeah, sword like, and shield. Hot take. Where... That's that's more like agreeing with the collective majority. Yeah, right? that, like the majority feels that way. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> like I have been seeing online lately. Like you know, you guys have seen like sword and shield got all this backlash and everything. But now, now that we're getting a new gen, people are coming out of the woodwork to say, you know, actually, Sword and Shield is my favorite game of all time. I'm like, okay. Like, they do this every single gen. Like, the current gen is the worst ever. And then, like, two gens later, oh, hey, remember that last, that one gen everyone hated? Actually, it was pretty good. <laughs> all time classic, yo. People say that for actually wild wires. You, you see, you see, I am immune to that. I don't end up saying that, hey, this is, this, 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 this generation is, an, is, is, is an all-time classic or something like that. I don't end up saying that because I hate them all the same. <laughs> I will say, I have no personal stake in the Pokemon discussion, but how the heck did they screw up eating a sandwich? <laughs> <sighs> My only stake in the Pokemon discussion is can we have an actually good post game? That's all I want, man. That's a good question. A stake in the Pokemon discussion is when will it end? 
well. It hurts. It's painful. It's dark. Honestly, I agree, Mega Fish. Uh, Gen 3 is my favorite still. Gen 3 is my second favorite. Just because black and white is a thing. And. Uh, but I'll agree with this. If I ever feel like replaying a, a Pokemon game, I will never touch any of them but Gen 3. Like legit. They're the most playable, the most the most friendly games to play. Genji just had a lot going for it, like, you know, Ruby Sapphire, yeah. Emerald, Fire Red, Leaf Green, but then you got Colosseum, XD Gale of Darkness. It was such a good gen. Great. It was great. People forget how good it was. Yeah. And then, like, yeah, that like, was the one that introduced the Battle Frontier. I, I like that. Yeah. That's the one I, like, I just want them to bring back Battle Frontier in some way. Bro, Battle Frontier. Listen, Pokemon. Listen, I won't let anybody bullcrap me with this. Pokemon isn't easy right now. It's not that Pokemon is easy right now. It's more like Pokemon has always been easy. But then get into the Battle Frontier. It's a whole different ball game. Yeah, it's a whole, whole different ball, ball game. game. And that's without even including multiplayer or very artificial difficulty challenges like battle towers or stuff like that, where basically you die of boredom before dying in the chat in the in the actual challenge. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, the battle frontier, bro. That has that. If if you want to, if you want to, honestly, if you want to. Like, get my interest back into this, get the Battle Frontier back. Pokemon Stadium would like to say hello to you. No, that game is also very easy. Sorry. Oh, oh right. Uh, Shoutouts to my boy, Ash Ketchum, from Pallet Town, for finally becoming a Pokemon Master. Kinda. Like, he actually did it. Oh my god. Yeah! He became... 25 years! <laughs> Stadium is not easy, what do you mean? It's easy, bro! It's easy, the rentals make the game hard. Come on, it's easy, even with the rentals. He's fell to eight different regions and he's still 10. <laughs> oh yeah, Deku, uh, did you see that Twitter post? Someone's like, yeah, um, a 10 year old or 25 years of work experience is what every uh, workforce person wants to see on a resume. <laughs> Basically, yeah. I was I was going to make that joke, but you guys made it first. <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, a lot of people that is offline. A lot of people. It's like he won the Alola League, that was already a big deal, but then he went on to like beat, uh, they go Cynthia and then Leon. Well, that's pretty big. If I can see this. The people like, like Lance and Elaine yeah. got word dirty. But well, I wasn't even, I wasn't even watching, so. He also is. beat Steven, yeah, that's that's a pretty big pog in my book, too. People say Cynthia's the strongest uh, champion. I think it's Steven, in my eyes. So me, Walla. So that's why. Walla's the real, the real Hoenn champ. Don't so highlight me. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, well, see, that was the problem with Ash up until the Alola League, that he only won on these, like, kind of like the filler arcs. Because, you know, as much <laughs> as you might want to bring up, you know, Orange Islands and Battle Frontier, but the thing is, those are basically, like, off-season filler arcs while they were working on coming out with the next gen. But, you know, of Alola, he finally won, like, uh, a tournament... Like during the main arcs. If you're gonna end Ash's journey, have him fight Red. Says Eleanor. Boy! That will be interesting, but what 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 are they going to do? They're gonna they're gonna bring they're, they're gonna bring Red from, from a wormhole, they gonna do a Koopa type of Oh, or something uh, like that? Yeah, it would have to be like a crazy crossover event because Ash is red as far as the anime is Exactly. Concerned. Basically, yeah. Like, I know, yeah, I'm, I'm Pokemon Master 6 uh, actually did it though. Uh, Ash versus Red. That came as says Hoopa. That's how Ash got in Master 6. That's pretty funny. Um, who, I, I, you know, I was joking, I, I was joking about who, but I didn't actually expect it to be the thing. I, I, I'm, I'm so disappointed now. This one, I think I came up with, I, I came up Hon with something. Yeah, honestly, yeah, I was some, surprised to see how here. many legendaries Ash got in Alola. Maybe that's why he finally won something. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, ne I'll never forget uh, the tournament where he got he got destroyed by Tobias because he was like that one kid that plays all legendaries. You all know, you always have that one friend that does that. <laughs> And then, don't get me started on the X and Y arc, like, he got robbed, he should have totally won that one. <laughs> he lost the bounty, he has a type of damage in. Exactly. Like, I understand, uh, Mega Charizard X is also half dragon, so it would be neutral, but still, man. Like, he only lost because of plot. Like, imagine... It's not the protagonist that has the plot armor, it's his opponent that has the plot armor. It's pretty messed up, bro. <laughs> yeah. Well, I gotta be real with you all. There's things that I need to do. That mostly include the closing my eyes for about 8 hours before yeah. opening them again under sunlight, so yeah. Alright, well, go do your thing, my man. Thank you for hanging out. A good night, everybody. Have a good night. Good I'll night, say, I'll say, be, I, I will, I'll say before you say it. Good night, Ekma. Rock on. Uh, yeah, well, from, I need to watch the anime. Like, now that Ash has finally done the thing, I need to actually watch more of the anime. Because I... You know, I watched uh, Indigo League. I watched Johto. Uh, some of Gen 3. I watched some of the others as well. Here and there, but not, like, extensively. So... I, I need to actually sit down watch more of it I guess but from what I hear at least the the latest one journeys is actually pretty decent it has a lot of fan service at least because they don't focus just on Cal or they don't focus just on Galar they focus on like all the regions it's an interesting approach for sure but that's also why it feels like journeys is the last season for Ash because it feels like a, a celebration of everything that came before, especially the episode where he fights Leon, 
Yeah, but you, you definitely see where it could feel like like his final battle. So it'll be interesting to see where they go from here, anime-wise. Uh, that's all I really got to say now. <laughs> We're gonna end things off here because uh, Specs should be calling me here any moment now. Uh, to like, pick her up from work. So I'll have to be ready for that. But anyways, thank you all for uh, hanging out tonight. I'm back, baby. We got the soundboard, the PC, the microphone. Uh, we're ready to do content again. At least I am. And uh, Damage Shuffler should come back in the near future. I just need to get the files ready, and I'll be good to go there. Uh, Mega News will come back whenever I can. Thanksgiving is coming up, so I have to keep that in mind, too. Uh, we'll see about that one. And then, uh, someone was asking about Pokemon Violet. That's really up to you guys if there's actually interest in it. If there isn't, that's fine. Like, I'll just play on my own, which is what I was going to do anyway. Anyways. Oh, I think I was going to stream on Discord. That's cool. Anyways, yeah. Have a great night, everyone. And we will see you in the next one. Rock on. And I haven't done this in forever, but finally I can say once again, eat your bananas. Oh, banana. Oh.